All right, guys, finally got it back together. It took a little bit, but I got it back together. It was a pain in the butt, but I just wanted to come on and show you what I had to do to, to get it fixed. Of course, I had to get the spacers just because I lost two. Had to get the upper hinge pins for the arms because I bent one on one side. Had to get the aluminum shock tower because I bent it up. And then I had to get the gear box. And I had to get a new set of shocks. All of that from one wrong jump. But the good thing is I got it back together and I'm going to be running it. Would like to show you what I did to the shock tower. I showed you what I did to the shock. Of course it was pretty whacked out. But <laughs> that's the shock tower itself so i hit pretty hard on that side and if i were at it i'll go ahead and show the shock again well both of them this was the better one of course the shaft right here is what bent but it's still in good shape all i gotta do is get a new shock arm and that'll be good and this is the other one that messed up, got messed up pretty good. So I'm going to try and see if I can clean these threads up and get a new spring tensioner there. And get that back together. Because this, I mean, it's still a good shock. I just need a new shock arm and this piece here. I wasn't for sure if it was going to work or not. Because you can see the damage right here. Oh on the shock itself so but i'll probably rebuild it and have an extra set of shocks if i have to i'll just get a new case new tensioner new rod and just go from there but it's back together and it's ready to rock i hope this don't happen again <laughs> but i mean Heck, guys, 91 foot, that's a long ways, and then I just landed right on this front side right here. I mean, it, what do you expect? <laughs> it's going to happen. If you want to have some fun, it's going to happen. I just wanted to jump in and give you an update. It is up and running and ready to go again, and I'm going to make a video of the difference between the 3S and the 6S as far as speed-wise. That way some, some of you guys will be able to see how big of a difference it is. Don't get me wrong, the 3S is pretty quick to be what it is. But this thing here is a beast. And I don't even have the big gear in it yet. Um, I'm almost afraid to put the big gear in it. But you can see I've still got it in the baggie. But I'm going to get used to this gear set up and the way it is right now before I put this in there. Because this thing is crazy. I mean, it's it's crazy the way it is. So, we'll see what we can do with it. Guys, y'all have a good afternoon. We got it fixed. It's on its way back. So, we'll see you guys next time. Y'all have a good evening or a good night, good day, whatever time it is where you're at. We'll see you.